Today we are talking about Pokemon Center stamped promos. And you guys can see right here, sometimes it's hard to see on the card. Right here, if you guys aren't familiar, these uh, usually come in the Pokemon Center exclusive ETBs. So there's usually two ETBs for each set that come out. There's the standard one, and then there's the Pokemon Center one, which comes with the stamped promo. Now, these don't usually get reprinted, and the print run isn't quite as big, so there's some rarity to these cards. So some of them can be pretty valuable. Starting off with this Squirtle card. Um, check out the price, 81 bucks. Now you may be wondering, why is this quite so high? And I think that this mainly has to do with the amount of master setting that was going on with 151. Uh, it just, if you're going for, not everyone goes for a true master set with every single promo, but if you're going for every single promo, you kind of have to have this one. So um, interesting to see as we are approaching the uh, one year of this card, it, it people were getting this for 40 bucks um, immediately and 60 and it went all the way up to $98 was its high, but then it dropped all the way back down to $52, had a steady climb up into the 80s and it's on a little bit of a decline. It's like down 7% and 4% on three month and one month charts, but um it's holding in that 80 dollars range which is very interesting we got some sales down into the 70s now already though so we'll see kind of where this card ends up but yeah so if you need this for the master set that's kind of what's going on but the reason we're talking about the pokemon center promos is just um dollar wise what can you expect from these cards we're going to take a look at all of them right next up we have the snorlax right here pokemon center right here so not all of these are ETBs, some of most of them are though, and you, you'll see 15% in the last three months. So the Squirtle is on its way down right now a little bit, but not all, a lot of these cards are on its way up. The Snorlax is down a little bit in the last month, but up 15% on the last three months. We'll pull out to the one year. So this is the kind of growth, so check this out, this is kind of wild. 30 bucks out the gate up to 40, drop down to 25, and then just pretty much a steady climb all the way up into almost 60, and then came down a little bit in the 50s. So these cards have rarity. They have limited print runs, and the stamps on here, uh, some people have said I wouldn't personally agree that it's the same, but they're saying this is like a first edition stamp, which would be, uh, I think that's not quite accurate. But I think that there's it's a limited rarity. It's kind of similar to like in sports cards, they number cards. You can, I mean, they can do one of ones out of a hundred, out of ninety nine. Um, they've done even like out of a thousand. Um, so it puts some sort of limited rarity on these. So if you're looking to either collect or invest in these, you guys can see kind of what to expect, right? Now one fifty one, I feel like is like I said a little bit of the exception. But we'll take a look at some of these other cards. Then we have the Charmander. The Obsidian Flames promo, right? It's up 52% in the last three months. And 22% in the last month alone. Now, there's not a ton of sales on here, but there's enough. We'll zoom out to the one year. So this card was already up around the $30 range. It dipped all the way down into the teens. And it's on a massive run up. Now, part of why this particular card might be running up a little bit is... In my opinion, it has to do with Stellar Crown, the release of, because you can see the Charmander here with the Pidgey. Stellar Crown, they have the Bulbasaur and the Squirtle. Um, same thing going on, like playing with the Pidgeys, right? So um, I think that there is something to do with that. Although I don't know how many people would be going for the Pokemon Center exclusive for that. I think they would just go for the regular one because the other cards aren't Pokemon. But anyways, um, there is some uh, recent interest in the Charmander, this particular card. So, I mean, where else can you find fairly consistent gains on these promos like long term? It's very interesting. So next up we have the Pikachu, which is 34% in the past three months. Pokemon Center stamp right here. 8.8% in the last month, and zoom out, up 42% over the past year. Came out around, it was around 22, dipped all the way into the teens again, and we're seeing in the $30 range. So, a lot of people, I think also, a lot of people are kind of realizing this now, and some people have been buying these up, but last sale's in the $31 range, so if you got in the teens, that's a 
pretty significant gain there. Very, very interesting. Next up we have the Coridon Scarlet and Violet. 51% in the last three months. And 7% in the last month. Over the last year, 91%. So you could have had this card for 13 bucks. And it's all the way up to almost 30. Last sale at 28.59. So, can you? It's not. They don't all. I mean, you see, they're kind of all shooting up around this this more recent time. But you can expect to if you can get these. Um, I believe the MSRP is what 60 60 dollars for Pokemon Center exclusive ETBs. So, um, whether you're planning to hold sealed or whatever, if you were going to open it, you can know that these promos are probably going to appreciate over time. We'll take a look at the Maridon. The Maridon is actually down 1% over the past three months and pretty much flat over the last month. And yeah, this one is kind of a little bit of the exception to the rule. Down 13% over the last year. It was up around $28 and now it's still in that $20 range. So that Kind of the Crydon's a little bit above, but it kind of is tracking. I don't know why this one was higher before, but then we have so this is a recent release, so obviously this is on its way down because this just came out. Uh, but this is the Stellar Crown, the Noctowl, and this is selling for around 19 bucks already, 17, 16. But if you expect over given enough time, if this is going to continue to rise in value, it could be in the $20, $30 range. It just depends. We also have the Scream Tail here, um, Pokemon Center stamp here, 52% on the last three months. So um, obviously, like I said, the Noctowl is the exception because it, it's more of a recent, very recent release, obviously you guys can see uh, when it came out. And the Maridon, I'm not totally sure on why this is a bit of the exception. So it's not every stamped card, but um, if you have any information on the Maridon, let me know in the comments. Um, Screamtail, like I said, 52% in the past three months, which is pretty good, and 5% in the last month, so it's still on an uptick, and it's actually down a little bit, because um, it when it debuted, it came out around $17, and then it came all the way down into the nines, so it looks like if you're if you don't have Pokemon Center ETBs, it might be best, like the Noctowl, right, to at release let the stamped singles bottom out, like the Screamtail here. Buy at that bottom, unless you already have the ETB. If you have the ETB, then you already have the card, right? But if you're looking to pick up the singles, um, you can pick up that bottom and ride it up. So we'll take another example here. We got the Ogre Pond. Um, Twilight Masquerade, 27% in the last three months, 10% in the last month, oops, one year. Okay, so here we have, because once again, this is still a newer set, like just came out months ago, but you can see, this is what's kind of happening with the Noctowl, we'll bounce back to that. Came out the gate at 16, dipped all the way down to 11, and now it's on its ride up. So... That seems to be fairly common, so this Noctowl is on its way down. So to compare, you would want to see that hit its bottom, and once it starts to rise, that might be your buy-in point. And, yeah, because, I mean, look at the gain. So there are plays to be made with these cards. We'll take another look at another card. The Mimikyu, we touched on this, I think, uh, in a recent video. This one's wild. 223% last three months. 124% in the last month and in the last year, 100%. So you can see the chart here, the same thing that kind of happens. It was up, it came all the way down to $4, and now it's at 14 So very similar there. We have the Petrament, which, once again, this is a newer stamped exclusive. So but you can see kind of what's going on. It had a little dip up, dip down. And we might still be on the dip down. It's kind of hard to tell at this point on the one month. Um, so yeah, let's kind of see where this bottoms out. Once again, a little too early to tell. Then we have some other cards like this Iron Bundle, up 7% over the last three months and about 8% on the last month. We pull up the uh, one-year chart and 
17, about 18 out the gate, down to around 7, and it looks like it's slowly starting to climb. So, obviously, not every card is going to be a winner. I also wanted to touch on this. Just I just wanted to touch on this card. I'm not sure how you... I think this was just like a throw-in if you bought some product. I'm not sure. Um, oh, yeah. Fans got one copy for each purchase before March 31st. But um, I just wanted to put this one in here because it's not... I don't think it's as rare, obviously. You can see the price here, but um, this card is on a little bit of a rebound. Kind of. It's bottoming out and coming up a little, but this was a four to $5 card. It comes down to like a buck and something. So, in summary of this video, not every Pokemon Center exclusive stamp card has proven to do good, but most of them do, with obvious exceptions when you have a good Pokemon like Squirtle, Snorlax, Charmander, Pikachu, or a legendary like Coridon, um, you know, Mimikyu, right? Pop more popular Pokemon. Uh, there is a better chance that those are going to increase in value. However, it it seems like for the most part, you can't you can't necessarily nail it down. But I would say that kind of if you are. Um, it looks really good for those that are holding sealed Pokemon Center ETBs, or like I said, if you're looking to buy the singles, if you don't have the ETBs and you just want to buy the stamped promos, give it a little bit of time, let it drop, and then you're buying pretty much at the bottom, and then these will continue to go over time. I do want to note that this is sort of a small-ish sample size with a small um, time frame, and it's going to take some more time to know for sure how exactly how well these are going to do long term but it's a very interesting proposition so if you've been looking at some plays either for your collecting or investing take a look at some of these stamp promos if you didn't pick up the etbs there's some buying points that looks like for a few of them and it'll be interesting to see just how high these cards can go it's very interesting and just another little aspect of collecting and investing that not everyone always dabbles in in the poke, in the stamped cards, right? So, um, I think in the last video we also touched on one of those um, those play stamped cards. Those are crazy. Those are even more rare. There's also um, like staff promo stamps. There's lots of different types of stamps, um, but it seems like the Pokemon Center ones might be the safest and the, they're definitely the easiest to get. Um, besides those other ones where you just make a purchase, those ones never typically tend to be worth much. So, like that Lechonk that we saw at the end. Um, so yeah, if you're looking at picking up some little more rare cards, look at the Pokemon Center stamps. Um, yeah, there's some plays to be made there. They're cool for your collection. But I think that is going to do it for this one, guys. I will catch you in the next one. And remember, it was never a phase.